Before we begin the second to last episode of this Let's Play, I want to mention real quick, we're going to stream the final battle live, right here on YouTube. This will be during my usual Saturday stream, so on Saturday, May 15th at 8.30pm Central European Time, or 2.30pm Eastern, this Let's Play will go out with a bang. If you can't make it, the VOD will be available in the playlist as usual, but of course, I hope to see you there during the stream. Thanks for watching, and have fun. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome everyone to the, I guess, I guess we'll call it semi-finals of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn with Mecha and with Bismix. Hi. How are you doing? How dead I'm are you? I'm not here right now. Okay. Please leave a message. Okay. After the beep. God damn it. Okay, cool. I guess let's we'll just, we'll just play this one on my own. No, but I didn't leave a beep, so you can't leave the message yet. Okay. You gotta wait. Okay. I, while I'll wait, I'll just play this really quick chapter real quick. Uh, it's this one. Um, we're gonna do Rebirth 4, apparently. That's what it's called. Prepare yep. for more voice acting. Oh, goddess. Please stop. Is this not enough? Your sister regrets all she has done. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you look closely at any of Yune's actions and their unintended consequences, you will see they were all born of fear. Fear that you would expunge her from yourself. If you would but allow her back within you, this would surely never happen again. Yune is chaos. She is an imperfection of my being. It is because of her that I have done this thing that can Killed by others of my beloved children. With every death, my rage and sorrow grew until I could control myself no longer. My emotions burst forth and I raised the land. Furious storms savaged the heavens. Roiling waters rose in tremendous floods. Lives were lost beyond count. I will purge chaos from within myself. Never again will I allow myself to commit such atrocities. I will become a goddess to properly guide and protect my people. I will become But to nullify half of your being, we were terribly, monstrously wrong to suggest it. Hold on, this was your idea? You shouldn't have to bear the weight of our foolish ideas. I... I was just lonely. My other half spent all her time worrying about the Lagoos and Bjork. She said she was going to erase me. I was only playing. I never meant to hurt so many. I understand, Yune. I won't do it again. I love all of you, too. You paid attention to me. I don't want to go away. It would be lonely, and I don't like being lonely. I want to stay here with all of you. Goddess, I have a suggestion. If we here of our own will were to make a pledge to coexist, there would be no need to erase your name, would there? That all Tina. In which case, we give you a solemn oath. Never again will either the Lagoos or Bjork seek the extermination of the other. So in Degenzia, yeah. this is agreeable, is it not? I do not accept your pledge. 
Fuck you. Well, Why? God damn it. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Damn it. Is it mirrors the music way louder than the voice acting sometimes? Yeah, I mean the audio. My decision has not changed. The audio balancing isn't the best. Mm hmm. It's not my fault for once. Would you consider an alternative to such drastic measures? We shall use the power of say magic to seal Yune in this medallion. Someday. And it may be in the far distant future. Someday we may be able to earn your trust, goddess. In the hope of that day arriving, refrain from annihilating Yune. Please. In my eyes, imprisoning Yune and destroying her are the same thing. Good. <laughs> that we are in agreement. <laughs> Trade offer. <laughs> you get. Put you in a Pokeball for a thousand years. I will always be with you. I will sing to you. You will not be lonely. I promise. Ah, there we are. I liked, um, Cher's voice was really good. Mm hmm. You know, voice acting in this part is not. So bad. I just, I think this is another one of those combos you don't see in new game, only in new game mm -hmm. plus. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what I think. Cause yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of things that are like that. I sort of knew or were sort of implied when you have like the mm -hmm. the, the limited script for the new game, but mm -hmm. a lot of this is new. I think to yeah. me, or at least I haven't seen it in ages. They're getting stronger and stronger. Whose memories are those? I know him. Everyone, Asher is nearby, just beyond those doors, and that's where we'll find her. We made it, finally. Hold on, Ike. This endgame is five chapters, know that for a fact. Hold on. Something ain't right. You should know, Ashira may have changed since before her slumber. Order and chaos are meant to naturally balance each other out. If you take one away, balance is lost. I don't expect Ashira to have the merest shred of compassion. Talking to her will likely do no good. We don't have much choice. If talking won't work, we'll have to use the force. Otherwise, My specialty. <laughs> Ike's specialty, definitely. Otherwise, this has all been for nothing. Here we come. We walk in. I look, oh, I thought everyone's going to run in a straight line. <laughs> yeah. How about you? What do you mean? Are you completely chaotic? Are you out of balance? As far as I can tell, you don't seem to lean too far in either direction. Ashira and I see things a little differently. During my long sleep, I was wrapped in sweet, gentle music. Heron Galdrar? Yes, but more important than the song itself, I was never alone. There was always someone singing comfort to me. Yeah, see, this is what I remember from, like, a first-time playthrough showing mm. this, which is, it has, like, bits of the same information, but it's missing a lot. Ashira shouldn't have isolated herself. She became lonely and bitter, and lost touch with her people. Alright, I remember to knock. Remember to knock. 
Right? Hold on. This thing won't budge. What's wrong with it? Those doors cannot be opened. <gasps> Yo, it's MC Hammer. Oh. <laughs> they have been sealed with powerful magic. By who? Sephiron, you're you're all right. I'm so relieved to see you. I'm so sorry to have been a cause for concern, Apostle. Forgive me. Sephiron, there's something I need to tell you. I'm not the true Apostle. I didn't mean to abuse your trust. Uh, don't worry. I, I've been knowing, Sanaki. Don't forget that I was almost a father to you. It honestly doesn't make any difference to me whether you, can, whether you can or cannot hear the goddess. Sephiron, thank you for having always been there for me. Hey, uh, Empress, shouldn't you tell him about General Zelgius? Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose I should. Uh, Sephiron, Zelgius is dead. I know you put a lot of trust in him, but he was also closely allied with Dain. I'm sure you've heard of Dain's so-called Black Knight. Sephiron, the Black Knight, <gasps> was Zelgius. But that's probably not news to you, is it? After all, it was you he was taking orders from. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Hold on, Ike. What are you saying? A man like Zelgus could never serve conflicting interests. Never. Everything he did, he did for one master. Isn't that so, Sephiran? Or should I call you Ligar? <laughs> I think I understand. You wanted to monitor events within Dayan. You sent Zelgus as a spy. Precisely. I felt it was important to observe Ashnard closely. That was my goal. At the time, I was it was relatively easy to get an outsider close to the king. Ashnard was famous for employing powerful men with no regard for their background or social status. Obviously, he would have needed no convincing once he saw the blade work of General Zelgius. The Black Knight tried to take the medallion from my father and killed him. Tell me, Zephron, was that... Whose plan was that? Ashnard's or yours? Uh, calm down. Ike, Zephron, would you please explain? Sir Ike, I'm afraid your father's death was an unfortunate result of Zelgius' own personal agenda. I did not order Sir Gawain killed. However, I must admit that I did ask him to seize the medallion and hand it over to King Ashnard. The goddess was to be freed and all living creatures destroyed. Come again? Hold the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> You're insane! I couldn't be more sane, Sir Ike. Attend and learn. My aim has always been to wake Ashira so that she might pass judgment on all the people of the world. What I, what I needed was a war that would spread across the continents. How could I achieve this? My attention turned to the young Dane Prince. I could use the fiery Ashnard for my purposes. He was ambitious, a fierce warrior, and more than anything, he had an earnest desire to change the world. When I allowed him to know of the goddess sealed inside the medallion, he became determined to set her free. We could use Heron Galdrar or a massive continent-spanning war to throw the world into chaos. Sephiron, what are you saying? Are you saying you wanted this? You can't be serious. Sanaki, my long life has shown me the people of this world deserve only ex destruction. The selfishness, the brutality, the disregard for others, the endlessly quarreling Lagus and Bjork. We have been given so many chances to correct our behavior and ourselves, and have squandered them all. The only remaining hope for a peaceful, orderly world is for Ashira to wipe us all out and begin again. To fulfill my ambition of destroying all beings, I had to use you. I had to betray you. This is some kind of monstrous <laughs> joke. <laughs> So, you've been pulling the strings all along? Correct. Beyond just Empress Sanaki, you were trusted by a lot of people. Sephiroth, I need, you to I need to understand. Did you really betray all those people? I did. I don't get it. Why would you wake the goddess to pass judgment on this? Tell us why. How could you want that? It wouldn't make any difference if I told you. You would have, you would have to live a few centuries before you could understand. Years ago, my father went into hiding with the medallion. At the time, he got help from both you and Zelgius. Does this have anything to do with that? Hmm. You seem to have sparked a distant memory of mine. Answer me. Why did you do this? I'm sorry. I can't tell you. At least, not in any way that you would understand. Such a 
badass shot this is. I just have to make you eat this french fry. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be happening. I won't fight you, Severin. I can't. Poor Sanaki. You'll have no choice but to fight. The doors leading to Ashira are sealed by my very own magic. Killing me is your only way through. Sephiroth, so it was you? All those memories penetrating my mind were yours. Since we entered this place, I've been seeing what you're thinking, Laron. Give it up. <laughs> Goddess Yune, why do you insist on calling me that name? I discarded it so long ago, Yune. I've changed. Laron is a thing of the past. All I want now is the end of all that is. Please don't stop me. Ron. Goodbye. <laughs> Just teleport like five five feet away. <laughs> Dude, gotta make it cinematic. You're running out of time. At this rate, I wouldn't count on being able to face the goddess. I would hate to see you denied after coming all this way. Well, now you know who brought you here and why. I suppose that just leaves our fight to the death to take care of. Don't and here we are. Little spirit buddies. <laughs> take a look at my spirit buddies. Yeah, that's Pretty uh, lad. Pretty, yeah. Wait, it's a lad. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mad lad, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to fight Sephiroth. So I've I've met, I mentioned this many times before, but uh, Radiant Dawn was actually my first Telius game that I ever saw, and then after that I watched uh, Path of Radiance. So I barely had any idea who this guy was, and it wasn't a very huge shock to me that he was like betraying us or anything. Uh, now that mm -hmm. I've gone back and watched like everything, um, mostly like the little bits, like in Path of Radiance, he doesn't really have that big of a role either. Uh, but it's more that the background to Sanaki's whole thing and coronation and everything. That makes me appreciate just how big of a fuck you the Sanaki this all is. Uh, that's like, that's my thoughts on it. I don't know, did, did, what did you think when you first saw, like, what this guy did? Uh, I mean... Yeah, I wasn't really expecting it. I mean, I saw him and I was like, oh yeah, forgot about you. And then he's just like, yeah, I'm the one who orchestrated everything. And I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He was—he was, he was kind of like at the end of Path of Radiance. Like, it was kind of, kind of suspicious. And yeah, it's kind of like they—they they put like one more guy with a face like, in there. That's not the generic, right? And it's like, what's the? He came the point? back, and I knew something. Like, I don't know, because yeah, I was kind of spoiled on how many endgame chapters there were, and it was like the fourth one. And I was like, okay. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Okay. okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, we have to kill him. We have to kill the boss once again. And this time it's yeah, Sephiroth. Yeah, beat him. Uh, he has some guardian friends around him that will protect him and uh, actually those take ghost a... buddies. Yeah, those buddies. And he, uh, if he's about to get killed by someone, they will like be like, Okay, actually I'm going to take that hit for you. They'll just do the pair-up thing for Wake Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky. Uh, there are ways to clear the map in one turn. I have set it up so I almost can, but I haven't bothered to like figure out the exact movement. So we're probably going to like two turn or three turn it or something. Uh, either way, won't be as long as the last map, I promise. Uh, let me just load my preps real quick. Alright, here we are. So, you don't start too far from Sephiroth, but you do gotta get rid of these guys. So they got, they're on a cover tile with 15 uh, defense on it, which is pretty stupid. So that means they effectively hmm. have like 40 defense. And these spirits are also like hella fast. They have 30 speed uh, by themselves. Um, Sephiroth has 36 speed, but he gets weighed down by 4 by the Cridolad tome that he has. So in reality, he has more like 32. So doubling him is pretty hard. I think the only character I have that can double him are like Mia and then... Um, Nisala. Let me think. Yeah, Nisala, exactly. That's right. Um, come to think of it, there are info combos that we got to show before we can start fighting. Uh, and only the two. ghost buddies target Rez. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. All right, ancient history time. <gasps> Yo, it's the dragons. Oh, hi, Gareth. I'm going to tell you a story while we're in this battle. A story you should know as the new king of Goldoa. This is one of the oldest and most heavily guarded secrets in all of Telius. You'll find no truth of it in any of histories or sagas. Not even Kaga sagas. If it's that important, maybe we should go somewhere else. Other people might yeah, hear us. we're kind of on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, what do you think, Nazir? I called upon Lady Mikaya because I felt that she should know the story as well. No, I think now is the time to let everyone know. Would that be alright, Your Majesty? There will be no secrets from now on. Tell us everything. As you wish, Your Majesty. 
In the dawn of this age, after the goddesses began their long slumber, the kingdom of Benyon was established. In those early days, Laguz and Bjork lived side by side in harmony and peace. And yes, that kingdom would become the Benyon Empire. The hero Altina was chosen to be the kingdom's first queen. Laurent supported her as an advisor and as a husband. What? Despite their differences, Laurent and Altina loved each other very deeply. The people accepted a marriage between Laguz and Bjork. Why wouldn't they, bro? Racism doesn't make any sense. That was what King Degincia said. This was before people thought of such differences. They only saw a queen and her husband. They didn't see color, I mean race. At this time, King Degincia also created his own kingdom far from the other Laguz tribes and Bjork nations. He believed that the dragon tribe was too powerful to interact equally with other tribes and people. That kingdom became Goldoa. Benyon had been established for four years when King Degencia received news that Altina had become pregnant. News brought great joy. You see, the news was also quite surprising. There had been other unions between Bjork and Laguz, but until Altina's pregnancy, no children had ever been conceived. Conceived, excuse me. Indeed, hers was the first child ever to be born of Bjork and Laguz. As close friends of both Altina and Loran, both the Ginsia and so on rejoiced at the news. The child would be the first to carry the joint blood of both Laguz and Bjork. The king said that the baby would become a symbol of peace between the two peoples. Sounds good. Sounds like nothing could ever go wrong after this. Nope. But joy over the child's birth did not last. Soon after the child was born, Laran lost all the powers of the Laguz. Why? He could not transform any longer, nor could he, nor could he sing the Galdor. It became apparent that the child of such a union neutralizes Laguz's parents' powers. To make matters worse, the child bears only the characteristics of a Bjork. Laran felt he was no longer a true Laguz, and felt he could no longer act as a bridge between the goddess and the people of Tellius. He lost hope, and also his mind, at least temporarily. He attempted suicide several times, which is an unthinkable taboo for anyone who has sworn to serve the goddess. King Ginsia fell into despair. If people caught wind of this news, he believed it would create a deep rift between the two peoples. The king was especially concerned about the reaction from the Laguz. They might interpret the birth as a herald of their eventual end. Some might even attempt to harm the child. The Ron needed to hear the voice of the goddess then more than ever before. But he could no longer sing the Galder of Release. Is that what happened? Just so. Leran was forced to make a very difficult decision to protect the peace between Bjork and Laguz. He decided to retreat into seclusion and consider the problem. And once he regained his sanity, he announced his decision. Leran was forced to ask the unthinkable of his wife, his aides, and close friends. For the sake of Benyon, you must tell the people that I died in an accident. Tell them the birth was merely a false rumor. Yikes. Leran left the medallion to his tribe, forcing to Goldoa under King Degincia's protection. He simply disappeared from history after that. And after Leran had, had left and life returned to normal, Altina eventually welcomed a Bjork husband. She raised the child she'd had with Leran and thought it and though it was an ordinary Bjork child as though it was an ordinary Bjork child uh, born of her new husband. Since then, marriages between Laguz and Bjork have been forbidden. It became known as a crime against the goddess. Even so, the taboo was broken several times over the next few decades. Usually, no child was conceived, but when there was, it was swiftly covered up. The parents soon learned what it meant to, be, what, what it meant to bear a child who possessed both Laguz and Bjork blood. And after they learned of the consequences, none of these parents ever rejected, rejected the edict of forbidding it. The child was to be raised by the Bjork parents and raised as a Bjork child, and it should have been enough to hide everything. End of story. It was several generations later that the certain descendants began to manifest physical marks which indicated their ancestors' sins. The mark of the branded. But fortunately, this mark looks very similar to the marks of those protected by spirits. Yo, if only these spirits would protect us. They could pass as students of the dark arts for at least a few years. Unfortunately, the branded lived much longer than the Bjork. Most Brandeds chose to hide, living outside of ordinary society, and they disappeared into the shadows of history. Rumors had already begun to spread, had already begun to spread across Benyon, however. The Branded were shunned and cast out wherever they lived. Where the Lagoos held power, they persecuted the Branded and executed them in honor killings. Yo, that's horrible. It was King Degincia's opinion that these were crimes that he had to carry on his conscience. 
From the beginning, he realized that he and the others in power had made a mistake. They understood that they should have revealed everything about Altina and the Ron's child. People should have been told the truth. But since they'd kept the truth from everyone, the branded were marked as unclean, persecuted whenever they wherever they traveled. Here's the family tree for Laurens and Altina's bloodline. Only King de Gintia knew the truth. Until now. Father, you've had to endure, endure this burden for alone for so long. It was the same in Lady Almeida's case. When she lost her powers after giving birth to the Mad King's son, King de Gintia had no choice but to hide the truth from everyone. He, so he chose to hide Almeida from everyone. Better to deny her existence than be forced to explain long-hidden secrets. In the process, he'd lost someone even more dear to him, Prince Rajayon. He deeply regretted this decision when he learned of the prince's death. The only choice left for King Degincia was to remain stubbornly neutral in all wars on the continent. He hoped, in vain, to keep the goddess from waking up before the thousand years had elapsed. I'm such a fool, I had no idea what father went through. All I did was deny him what he fought for. Uh, Kurth, your majesty, you are the king now. You know that this is his sin to fight against the goddess, and yet you've chosen to move forward. Nagenzia left everything to you. You must succeed. Do not be afraid of what lies beyond. Forge ahead. I understand. I shall be true to my convictions. I have no more doubts. That is a that is a story, alright? I think this is like... Forgive and forget. Yeah. I think this is more evidence of like... That they kind of crammed a lot of the plants, plots, story, whatever. It's like the last bit of the it. game. Yeah. You had to put it somewhere. Like obviously they, they thought it all out beforehand because you can't make up the whole Sephiroth twist at the end without planning it all along. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they could have done they could have found like a more natural way to deliver all this without having it in one giant dump at the end. Uh, it is still nice to like have closure on everything, of course. Uh, it's also like I'm trying to think like how could they have done this? But this, the, the 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 script of this game is already so bloated and huge that they got like cut ma massive parts of it from like new game. So I don't even know how you could have done it. I guess this is just like a really ambitious game. <laughs> That's all I can really like say about it. It's like they, they apparently this is the best solution they can come up with. And you know, it could be worse. Yeah. Alright, forgive and forget time. Is it Sonic Unite? Uh no. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> this happened. That's here. You betrayed us again. I I'm sorry, sorry about, about that. Here. That's alright. I know you were in a tight spot. Still, it wasn't really cool of you to, like, attack us. Ah, the Bjork hero. We will follow King Kurthnaka from now on. If he wishes to fight alongside you, I shall assist. I see. Then you should receive a blessing of protection from the goddess Yune. We already have. We can fight Ashira now. Uh, I don't know about that one. You'd lend us all of your might? Of course. We swear upon the good name of the Dragon Tribe that we shall do our best. You know, you got some reputation damage at last battle, but that's okay. We, you know, we'll make it work. Make it work. Well, I like how much shorter that one yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> the first one is like Three. like 10 hours long. This one's like, yeah, let's, we'll fight. Let's yeah, go. We're help. Yeah. Uh, they already joined us. Like, you didn't need to do that combo to recruit them, but uh, here they are. Hold on. There we go. So there's Gareth. He's Gareth. not very good in this map. And he's like a huge meme for people who played Raining Dawn because his resistance Gareth. is so low. And like, he dies yeah. to the spirits here. But I actually think that he was like hey, really underrated that. for a while. He's actually like really that good. Blood Tide support. Yeah, Blood Tide is so nice. That's... And look at that HP. Remember, HP is, yeah. is like one res in defense. Big brain. <laughs> That's how it works. Definitely. I mean, he has more HP than any character in the GBA games besides Dude. the final bosses will ever have. Like, that's gotta be HP good, right? HP the best stat. Mm -hmm. the best stat. I also like 7 speed in like the yeah. second to last half of the game. I'll transform when still. You have, when you got that HP, mm -hmm. nothing else matters. Yeah. I think like base yep. level Reese from like the grill mercenaries probably doubles him or something it's kind of sad like that um yeah okay. everything doubles him but he's super tanky you know he has 42 defense transformed so get all those physical units out of here he's he's will tank them blood tide bot <laughs> yeah that's uh that <laughs> he has no other skills either it's literally just blood tide, blood he does. tide bot. yeah i think gareth is not too useful in this map but i will deploy him just to prove that he doesn't die that's what i will okay, do let's go yeah and then we have Nasir, who is, uh, he doesn't have as bad of a reputation because his res is so good that the spirits can't even scratch him. And he provides uh, White Pool, which gives plus, oh, dude, I keep messing up these buttons, there we go. Uh, which provides plus five speed and magic, which is uh, pretty cool to let people double some things that they otherwise wouldn't. Kind of a nice ability. Uh, I just, I have a personal fondness for the White Dragon class in this game and then Nasir because, I don't know, I just think they're really cool. Like magic breath cool. and everything. 
yeah, it's a mm -hmm. goofy little white dragon that just hits on magic and stuff. It's like one to range. It's pretty cool. Uh, but generally, like the dragons are just not very good at attacking. They have particularly have some accuracy issues, I find, and speed issues, of course. Like Nasir is faster than Gareth by one point. That should tell you <clears> all you need to know. Uh, actually, uh, two points when he uh, transforms. Okay, uh, this makes very cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got him. Uh, but yeah, I think White Pool and Red Pied are Red Pied, Red, Red Tide are both very cool. Uh, but they're not going to be very useful this map. They will be very useful next map though. Um, I'm probably going to leave Nazir undeployed because I can't really think of who to ditch for him, even though it really doesn't matter this map. Uh, but I think we're just going to go at it. I'm going to make one more save that now that I've done the info combos because I am paranoid like that. And then we'll just get going. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Right. All right, let's uh, let's see how badly we are about to die. So mm -hmm. I put Raphael in the middle here, so we can okay. figure uh, on like a bunch of people. And the tile that he goes on is this uh, this wardwood tile. So what I'm gonna do is probably like I <laughs> I oh, know, right? <laughs> so good. Let's see if if Raphael can go there, he can go one further, and we might actually be able to shove him. Let me see. Uh, nah, fuck. I'm not even gonna bother shoving him. It's fine. So we'll just go at it. Uh, let's go here with the Sala. Yeah. Uh, we'll shift, and we'll take out this uh, this Thunder Tail guy. I guess these stupid spirits. I guess this is something that like everyone who's played this game and finished it knows. But just for people who don't know, uh, these guys can hit like everything on the whole map. Uh, I can't highlight their ranges because apparently I don't have to <laughs> patch load it or something right now, <laughs> which is dumb because I should have. But it doesn't really matter at this point I mean, because it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, the, they don't even have weapon triangle advantage over you if you have like. Let's say this guy's thunder, so he would have a triangle over fire guys, but that literally doesn't even work. And also, I didn't forget to turn animations off. They just, um, I, I did, but it doesn't matter. They don't, don't have animations. <laughs> like, they just they just don't. Like, watch this. Shift. Rawr. Let me just, like, eat this guy alive. Yeah, they don't have animations. It's kind of rushed. It's kind of sad. Kind of wish they'd show what it looked like, but uh, yeah, their spirits, they have 50 move, 20 move, excuse me. So they can just move all over the map. And that's what makes Gareth so vulnerable to these. Uh, what you can do though to prevent him from dying is go here, for example, on the Wardwood, and just transform him real quick. I'm gonna put Gareth next to him, who has form shifts. Put him here, and uh, Nephany can go like here and get a pure water. And Nephany has provoke, so and she has no one to range equipped, unlike all the Lagoos, for example. So the spirits will be like really inclined to attack Nephany now. And uh, Dunvet also has Provoke, so we're gonna do the same with him. Uh, put him like on a Wardwood somewhere. Uh, come here. And just use a Pure Water. Uh, equip the, like, something that's one range, because otherwise the Spirits won't go for him. Use a Pure Water. And yeah, now he's getting like plus, I don't know, 20 res or something dumb like that. Uh, plus 19 res, 17 res, whatever. So they won't really hurt him, but they will still attack him. Sanaki doesn't get attacked on this map, so I can put her wherever I want and just, you know, equip Simulin and do Super Chop with her. Uh, Aaron, I'm gonna keep like one to range equipped on people like him because if I don't, he might die. So let's put it on here. Most of these people just don't really help with uh, the boss over here. We're gonna get Ike involved though. So put him over here. And then uh, Jill. If you wanna like one turn this map, I could do like, let's see. Is there anyone else I can get involved here? I guess Mia can come along. I don't think she helps very much, but here we go. Uh, let me just do a quick gather. I don't know if I can one turn actually. I think if I like set it up slightly better, I would have been able to. Uh, these spirits, like I said, they're on 15 cover tiles or whatever. Uh, let me see. Do you survive a hit from Mr. Crydy Lad? Yeah, you do. Okay. So I'm gonna parody this uh, this guy because if I use like a normal attack, like the I don't know the the Irvin, it doesn't kill. So I would need to stun. But I don't want that, so we'll go with the Irvin. Such a cool sound effect. Ow. Yo, poor emulator. <laughs> Alright, destroyed. And, uh, yeah, to, to reach, I had to give her, like, Slarity and the boots. So, that should tell you all you need to... Oh, well, actually, only Slarity. Boots. No, did I Did I give her boots? I think I did. I think I did give her boots. So, now, we can technically reach Sephiroth, but like I said, as long as these, like, uh, things are around him, you can't really hurt them. But, one thing you can do is shove them out of the way, because they have zero weight. Like, you can shove them with anyone. So, huh. pretty stupid. Uh, the thing is, though, if I do do it, um, I don't have enough characters to actually, like, finish them all. And Mia... I mean, I guess Mia can technically attack him. 
She'd be the only one, but she has no chance of killing him because he is uh, <laughs> stupidly bulky. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. Uh, instead, what I will do is just kind of chill here. I'm going to kill some of these random spirits. I know some of them move. Uh, so just eat this one. Nom nom. I know, like, once you kill one of the spirits... Oh, nice love luck. Uh, can you... Yeah, that's extremely... Yeah, luck mattered. Yeah. I know once you kill, like, uh, for example, the one I killed here, I won't, that one will be replaced by another one. Um, I don't really want to do this, but I think I still have Oliver left, so I could just do this. And then physic her. Or just don't get hit, bro. Nope. Forehead. <laughs> five head. <laughs> just don't get hit by head, five head. Uh... Let's see, I just I kind of want him on like work with somewhere, but there's not a whole lot of it here, for obvious reasons. I guess I'll just put him here for now. Back out this guy. Ouch! Ouch! Ike is paralyzed and may be unable to move. <laughs> God damn it! Did you see my tweet where I posted about uh, this uh, amazing battle and showdown where this poor Ganzi used triangle attack? I'm one of my Pokemon and I got frozen and I stayed frozen for two turns and it killed me. I sent in my next Pokemon to finish it off. And that one got paralyzed and fully paralyzed with Tri-Attack. Oh no. And then crazy. the last one got burned? No, I didn't get that far. Oh. Those were the last two Pokemon. Oh. I was got like, if I just got to attack oh. that thing once, he would have died. That's whack. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know if I got a... How much races does this have? One to five by Magic by two. Okay, so I can just fortify here. There you go. Dude, Oliver, like... Actual, oh, oh, come on. Like, <laughs> he, just, he just breaks the emulator by fortifying. Like, uh, uh, okay, they're all full health now. And I might get a weed or something. That's just how it is, I guess. I will transform you. That's just the way it is. You don't have to like it. Um, sure, we'll go here. I could put a Wandax just to survive. Don't have pure water for you, unfortunately. And, uh, hey, well, Mikaya. I guess I can have get Har out here as well. He might be able to break a spirit next turn. Uh, let's make sure he doesn't die. So, Wardwood. Mm, I was gonna say. Yeah, put Wardwood, him, please. Yeah, I think Wardwood works on flyers. I'm actually not entirely sure. Let's just go here. And Bikaya. Just go wherever. It's fine. Uh, we can still hammer in something if we want to. <laughs> Alright. That should be it. Let's see what happens. Let's hope we don't die. Mortals cannot stand against gods. Don't you see the futility of what you're doing? Alright. Big AoE. Oh, Yo. that's an animation. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, Please God, don't die, I mean... guys. Yeah, that's gonna break your computer in half. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Please be okay, guys. Oh, oh I forgot how magical this oh. was. Oh, jeez. Oh. Calm down, guys. Whoa. Yo, Raphael. Okay? I hope so. But oh, this guy is uh, going for it. Uh -oh. okay. I hope the provoke trick still works with ice this injured. Maybe I should have given him a pure water. Alright, here comes. No, don't go for Ike. No, don't do yeah, it. Right to Ike. Oh, wait. oh, he's, oh, he, we went for um. Never mind. He was there to like protect him, right? Like I said, they like to go for that. All right, easy, nice provoke, provoke, good guys. See, Gareth is right there, but they're like, nope, I'm gonna go for Daphne, because cheese. Provoke is broken. <laughs> yeah, I for this. Yeah, actually. <laughs> It's so stupid to wow. here. Just chilling. <laughs> Ike is literally like two hits away from death, but they're like, Yeah. I think it's time for to, to attack Nephany, everyone. Like, she's getting. Like, she has like 22 res at base. And I gave her a pure water for plus 7, Night Tide for plus 5. So that's like 12. And then she's on the Wardwood for, I think, plus 10. So that's like plus 22 res. <laughs> she's like. I think she has the most res out of anyone, including like Nazir. But, um, yeah, gotta attack Nephany, I guess. It's important. <laughs> it is important. We gotta... <laughs> or, or you can attack Damn oh, That works too. <laughs> dude, nice. a miss? What? These things yeah, can dude. miss? Yeah, dude. They have like a million, oh, have like a million hit. Alright, here we are. Wait, right, how uh, much hit did I have? Yeah. Holy shit. They have like very high accuracy. 165. Hold on. What was your hit rate? Um, Okay, this doesn't this tile doesn't give a void. This one gives five. Yeah, okay, they have like fifty hit. I thought they were like way more accurate than they apparently are. Okay, mm, whatever. Don't, don't, dude, it's hard to hit ten men. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta pick the right one. You actually gotta hit them all if you wanna hit down yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think we gotta fortify again first of all to make sure they don't die. So uh, that seems likely at this point. 
I think we can make do with four fortifies, or two fortifies the last map. Mm -hmm. All right, Oliver, go ahead, break my emulator, I don't care. Here we go. Another level up for God. Let's see that perfect level up. Yo! Yep. <laughs> Not even trying. It's more strength than speed. <laughs> Not even trying. Not even a challenge. Okay, Har, can you actually kill a spirit? Uh, nope, they're way too Raven? fast. Oh, wait, no. They're that, way that, too was that was the Brave Yikers. Axe, yeah, yeah. Yikers! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is, this? what is this path? Radiance? <laughs> okay, so I think what we do is um, parody this one again. Okay. Goodbye, Thunder Spirit. <laughs> Goodbye, Thunder Spirit. Take that. Yoik, nice strength. Nice. And I'm trying to think exactly where I want to figure, but you can only move five tiles, right? Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. So if I'm going to figure, it's going to be like around here somewhere. Um, like right here, right where, where she is. So I guess I'll just move one tile back. And I guess Ike can go here and finish this guy off. Gone. Get gone. What and an animation. We can be cheese. We can be, uh, we can do funny things. Let me see. Can Mia get a kill? Yeah, I was trying to, like, see a way that I could, like, shove him out of the way. I guess just shove here. Like that. <laughs> Donk. <Yeah. laughs> and then go back here. Something? Yeah, go back here. Yep. And then Mia can try doing this. Which might not work, but it might also work. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Yo, disarm. <laughs> Disarming Yo. spirits. Wait, you can Huge. disarm a spirit? What? It worked. No, no. <laughs> no, did it actually work? I mean... Wait. Hmm. I wonder if that means you can steal them, because they have one weight. That's funny. No. There's no way. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, we oh just my get rid God. of it with horror. I got a fire spirit. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Great, but I'm not <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> get out of here. Make it stunned. It's stunning. Okay, now we're here, and I guess we can have Anna join in for some fun, and Gelder. Here we go. Yay! Mm. Important level up. Go res. And uh, the sad thing about Nasala is that he doesn't quite kill with uh, parity, he's like 2 HP off. Oh. The good news is that means we can maybe finish him out with someone else. Uh, also, he has 13 crit, which is not very cool. Yeah, that's... Does uh, he kill with a crit? Well, Let me see. 38. I think he doesn't, because he does, like, less than 60. Yeah. I think we're no, good. You'd be fine. Yeah, you'd be fine barely, but... All right. King Nasala, it seems as if everything went well with the Pact. Yes, which I am thankful. The Blood Pact yoked to kill us to your country's control. But we no longer suffer the curse of a proposing tyrannical addicts of your corrupt, bloated senators. He says his Oliver's right there. Present mm -hmm. company accepted, of course. I'm quite glad Accepted, to hear it. Accepted, of course. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm quite glad to hear it. You shouldn't be. You're not like the other senators, but your insane agenda has turned my nation to stone. Freedom means nothing to a statue. My goal was simply to save Saraki. With your help, she is safe. The mutual benefit to your country was a happy accident, so don't feel adapted to me. So you won't object when I tear your lungs out here and now? <laughs> By all means, be my guest. Be my guest. Yeah. Tabarn nice. also has a really good convo with him. Tabarn's like, I don't think you're nearly as bad as trying to make yourself out to be. And he's like, nope, I'm, I'm a bad guy. You gotta kill me. <laughs> he just kind of wants to die. Yep, here. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. We're, we're right. <laughs> cool. Very cool. And all right, you this... have like, what, four or five health left? Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Like five. I want to say five. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> it breaks my computer in half. Eating it up. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, and then... <laughs> They saw. So, anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> nice lungs. Uh, I think a lot of people just can't hurt him because he's like so many defensive bonus because of the super yeah. brutal gem and the cover tile. Like, again, let me just make sure I've said this right. Yeah. So, he has 25 defense. He gets plus 10 from the stupid brutal gem. And then he also gets 50, no, 10 from this cover tile. So, he has like 45 defense, which is stupid. And Balance. should not be legal. Yeah, Oliver! Let's go, let's go, Oliver! Oh, shit. Oh, you can die no to a crit if you want. To. I know, right? I mean, you have Purge, technically. No, Sferatu. Oh, yeah, wait, Mantle. Well, I mean... It oh, yeah, Mantle is a thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll Mantle. That, yeah, it doesn't show in the, in the battle forecast, unfortunately. Uh, 
I think even even the mighty Nolan doesn't have enough might to do this. Starvos. <laughs> 18 damage. Yeah, I don't think he can reach. I mean, we can try shopping him, I guess, to see. I don't know who else is even going to be capable of shopping him, though. I don't think there's anyone. Yeah, we can't reach hey, him. We can get a kill with, like, Nef near Donovan for the chapter, that, right? I mean, they can't real reach either. They're pretty No, 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 I mean the spirits for next. Part. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean... You don't really need it. Gotta get sure. that level 19 down yeah, a bit. That's true. Let me just find oh, sure. a way to kill these. <laughs> I think he's on a yeah, he's in a cover tile. We might have to find one that's not a cover tile. It's, Yo, Aaron? Uh, Yo, Aaron, come in clutch. Uh I guess they can uh, combine for a kill. Yo, <laughs> Sad as it is. How about your squad? Oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh we can either go for an Huge. impale or we can just use Ripley. <laughs> Huge. Oh, Huge. There we go. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I get cancelled. <laughs> Yo, huge for Aaron. That is big. Wow. He's almost level 7, guys. Let's go, Aaron. Glad I brought him to endgame. Alright, Cymbeline time. One, One time. Yo. Yo, why is that map animation so gigantic? Because <laughs> Cymbeline. Cymbal sync. <laughs> nice. Nice Let's try. try. Yay! Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's that's Yo, exact perfect. damage. That's Planned. exact damage. Got him. <laughs> Gone. Okay, this is how Gareth would fare if he got attacked, right? He'd take like... <gasps> this is only 6 and 3. Oh, oh he's on Warwood. Warwood. Yeah, yeah, if he's on a cover, it's much worse. Win. Then he just dies in like 2 to 3 Ow. rounds. But it's so easy to keep him safe, honestly. It's so easy. Like, imagine if Kurth was next to him. He would like just be invincible. Alright, Nephany, got any uh, got any plans for today? Yo, she just one rounds these. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Strong okay. character, Goodbye. strong independent girl. Coming through. Coming through. <laughs> Strength. Oh. How about everything else? All right, that uh, works for me. Um, Barvos. Barvos. No vos. <laughs> no buenos. Dude, even Blood Tide isn't gonna save it. Maybe he'll get Colossus. Maybe Gareth will hit. Yo, what? Gareth is gonna hit. Watch this. Yo, dude. Easy. <laughs> it's like slow beam. Yeah. Ouch. Dude, don't do it again. Stop. <laughs> Why is fire stop. hurting Gareth? I don't know. He's a red dragon. He should be fine. Alright, go ahead. <sighs> oh, no classes. Maybe next time. <gasps> Strength? Oh. <laughs> How about more HP? It is the best stat after all. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey man, he's doing it. He's trying his best. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Take that. Breath. That's cool. Gotta get our XP for the final chapter. But he's got like his dad's breath. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's cute. I like that. Damage. Alright. What do all we right. call? We've, oh, we've held on for long go. enough. We've held Wait, on does Oliver have a conversation with him? I mean, could check it. I don't think he... A lot of people have a conversation with him. But I don't think Oliver does. We, have, we, we got it. He does. Ah, oh, let's go. Duke of Tanas, imagine seeing you here. <laughs> Lord Sephiroth, as lovely as always, but has it come to this? Must we fight to the death and deprive the world of one of our beautiful countenances? Can other yeah. lovers of beauty endure such a loss? <laughs> I confess that your presence has been bewildered. Could this be part of Yune's plan? <laughs> I simply never would have imagined you here. Your presence proves that. Tellius is unraveling at the scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Judgment cannot go to the death. Come, hey, come on. Oliver. That's so rude. It's messed up. <laughs> oh my god. It's messed up as fuck. Oh, well. I like how Oliver's just here, and he's like, Oh god, oh god, we really did fuck up. <laughs> we... This can't wow. be happening. Oh my god. Can Mikaya hurt him? Uh, it's 40 res. I'll have you know, sir, from the Oliver's nope. been putting in work. <laughs> uh, I guess Mikaya can attack him for a combo, at least. Yeah. Combo time. Let's see it. This Everybody is definitely gonna hit. Combo. You, I've heard about you. Have we met before? The silver-haired maiden, it's taken so long to finally meet you. If I had known you still lived, I... I know, it's too late. This changes nothing, I cannot falter. What is the matter with you? I'm just overly sensitive, don't feign concern over me. 
Dude. So close. So close. Yeah. By the way, if you don't kill him in like one turn while you're getting close, he like Azuka just rewarps away with this thing, and that's super annoying yep. as well. So that's why this chapter can take a while if you're not prepared. I was uh, a little prepared. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to kill him with a lion or with a Jill? Uh, does Jill have a conversation with him? I don't. I know. I think Kanigas does. I don't. Think I know Kanigas. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do Kanigas. All right, Lion Boy I wanna, is. I want to see the conversation. I hope you can hurt him. He can. Okay, let's go. Uh, animations are on, right? I'm pretty sure they're on. Yeah, just double checking here. Yes. Got to see a lion roar, right? Yep. The Lagos and Bjork have doomed each other with their mutual hatred. You have brought extinction on yourself. Oh, no convo? Okay. I guess not. Wow. Well, I okay. guess not. All right. How do you eat him then? Nom 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 nom. Nice the hill, Nile. Yeah. Loser. Got him. Rrr. Nice. At last, I'm dying. But he didn't vanish from the map. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. What? It can't be true. Our apostle? Can't believe it myself, but the senators made an announcement. It must be true. X to doubt. <laughs> Pardon me? Has something happened to the apostle? Oh, my lord, saves the apostle. She, she's dead. Where were you when apostle was dead? What? Mm. How? According to the senator's announcement, she was assassinated by the Serenus herons. Why do people believe this shit? <laughs> <laughs> the herons, yes, the heron tribe. The most dangerous, aggressive. They're nothing but beasts. No Don't say it. The others Don't. Humans. <laughs> He said the S word. This is simply not possible. The Heron tribe could never assassinate anyone. Thank you. They... She's dead, isn't she? Those damn subhumans. Every last one of them's got to die for the apostle. Bro. Wait. That's an L. They're nothing but monsters. Oh, I wish I could kill them myself. Listen, Mia. Okay, you relax. <laughs> Grab a weapon, grab a torch. Come on, we'll burn that forest to ash and wipe them all out. You serious right now? No, you mustn't. What's wrong, my man? lord says? You don't look well. Are you feeling all right? I'm old. <laughs> Oh my god. The medallion must be quelled. I cannot allow this madness to come to pass. Judgment. The goddess's judgment. Oh man. Rip. I forgot about this, so I'm like really upset again. No! What have they done? The forest, the trees! The herons were innocent! Why? The dead here online there is like F. <laughs> Oliver was complicit, to be honest. I know, but like, he gets a pass. <laughs> Somewhat Why redeemed. Was my family taken? Why? Why was my forest destroyed? The apostle did not deserve this fate. Killed by her innocence, her murderers free to seize power. This is monstrous. This world does not need Bjork and the Lagoos are deeply flawed. The fuck did the Lagoos do? I think he's just kind of lost it. For the covenant's thousand years. 
He went over the deep end. Awaken, oh goddess, awaken and judge. Yeah. I mean... Oh, he did lose it, definitely. Well, because he's a heron, right? Laren's a... Mm -hmm. Laren's a... <laughs> Laron is a heron. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, I mean, you know... Your, your, the apostle, you know, is dead, was close to you, and then your homeland is burned down for nothing that they didn't even do. Like, I, I, I can, I can, I can see it. I can see it. I just, I just wonder where the the sudden hatred for Lagoose comes from. Because, like, even I, if someone's like super insane, went, it's like it, it should come from. Went, I think he just, he just went crazy and blamed mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah. I don't like. I'm not trying to shit on it. I'm legit, legit like trying to understand mm -hmm. like where, like, because sure, if you go insane, you say really, really mad stuff. But wouldn't he mm -hmm. go like uh, all the Bjork must be extra? I guess it doesn't matter to him because like he's just so completely depressed about everything, and mm -hmm. he just figures that like the goddess is the best way to just punish the, the, the but he to like punish the Bjork right because they were the one who mm -hmm. burned down the forest. And I guess he just didn't care about the Lagoos, but he like specifically says like the Lagoos are deeply flawed or something. I, I wonder where that came maybe, from. Maybe, basically. maybe it's because, maybe it's because of the whole like branded thing, and he maybe thinks like because of the Lagoos, like they caused like it's I don't know because like that's mm. what started it I all. And, like he just believes it's their fault, even though like obviously it's. I guess I, I guess if he says like they're so deeply flawed, the goddess just has to like purge the world and remake it again, so that without the whole problem, yeah, that's. that's I'm fair. sure somebody mm. will have a very good explanation. Mm -hmm. Sephiroth. Sephiron, hold on. <laughs> Open your eyes. Can you hear me? Hold on. Yune, help me. What should I do? What? Really? Okay, I'll try. Is it is it Galdo time again? Mm. You were the ocean's... Oh, never mind. Sanaki. Sephiron, you can hear me? Somebody help. He's He's wounded. I'm sorry, Sanaki. The doors leading to Asher won't open while he's alive. I can't save <laughs> he him. He must die. Yep. That's correct. Thank you, Yune. I am sincerely grateful. Mm -hmm. Death is all you've wanted since this started. Everything else has been little more than a terrible side effect. I'm sorry that this was your only goal, but I am happy to help you achieve it. I am pretty sure jumping off a building would have been faster, but okay. Sephiron, I see now what you were going through. It must have been hard. I wish well, I remember, he tried, he tried to suicide multiple times. Oh, there, you're right. He was stopped. Mm -hmm. Please, don't mourn for me. I'm not worth it. So what you're saying is the easier way is to engulf the whole world in war. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so sorry. I wanted to help you. I really did. Forget about me. This path was my decision. My tragic mistake. Lady Sanaki, I want you to have this. This is the Rudal gem. Wear it in memory of me. It will protect you. Please, forgive me. I'm sorry I lied to you. Sephiron, don't worry. We still have all the time we spent together. Nobody can take that away. Nobody. Thank you. My Lady Sanaki, I'll be leaving you now. Zell, Gius is waiting. Oh, Tina. <laughs> Sephiron! Now, please, Micaiah! Don't die. You can't die. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't help it. Oliver is just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> He's vibing. He's breathing. Dude, that was so messed up. You're still alive? Oh man, we really me oh god, yeah. we messed up. Sephiron is breathing. Ah, just in time. You saved him. Thank you, Micaiah. Thank you. Do you sacrifice? Is that it? Micaiah is completely spent. She's sorry, but she won't be able to fight in the next battle. Good! We don't need her. Oh, but shit. there's no time. Hurry! Goddess Yune, is there something you haven't told us about you and Sephiron? He saved my life. Your life? Sephiron saved the life of a goddess? Is there something you haven't told us about Sephiron then? He'll wake up in just a moment, then you can just, you know, ask him directly. Oh. Alright, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Alright. <laughs> Why did you save him? Should I not have? 
I can think of a few reasons why you shouldn't have, yes. <clears throat> Cuts him down with a sword anyway. Hey, <laughs> get up. Now. Take it easy on him. He's had a hard day. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm alive. Ron. God, is Yune, why? Why did you... Because I want to, I want you to live. You shouldn't have... You should, you've taken, always taken care of me. I couldn't bear it if it didn't like this. But I've lost all my hope. All hope in the world and the people in it. I did what I did for future generations so they wouldn't have to live in this world. Please, Yune, just let me die. I won't, Laron. I won't. Laron? Now he's some kind of hero saint? If death is what you really want, then I'm not going to let it happen on my watch. I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care how much you've suffered. What you've done is unforgivable. Stop it, Ike. Ashira is waiting. It's time for the final confrontation with her. You can come if you want to. You're asking me to turn my back on Goddess Ashira? If you really want the total extinction of New York and Laguz alike, then you can just lie here like a lump. If not, this is your last chance to start rectifying your mistakes. Think hard on that one. Goodbye. I'm gonna fight a goddess now. Peace. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll solo this, guys. <laughs> See ya. But Ike. Let's go, boys. I like how Sanaki isn't the last one to walk away. I mm -hmm. also like how Soth didn't have anything to say in this whole scene. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you to run. I think this means we uh, we fulfilled the criteria. Yay! Happy Rudol gem. Happy Bex. Oh. Definitely gonna Death be spending this. I keep forgetting to spend the Bex at the start of these chapters because they're so short anyway. <laughs> Now we can. All right. Uh, well, we made it. We sure did. And uh, next time we're gonna make it to the end. Oh boy. I uh, oh boy. I know we live streamed the Echoes finale. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet whether that's a good idea for this one, considering how taxing Rainy Dawn is on, sure. my, is on my computer. But then again, the draft race it held up pretty well, so we might do it anyway. But we're recording this like way ahead of that, so if that's happening, I'll let you know. And uh, there might be a date in the end of the video here if I don't remember to edit it in. So um, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the finale. See you guys around. <laughs> See you around, guys. It's been fun. Oh, uh. Goodbye. <laughs>